Fable. Are you ready to enter the horrible state of camera? He's not answering. This is good. Because he probably wouldn't want to be in camera. No one wants to be in camera. I don't even think the Dark Eldar want to be in camera. Let's be honest here. But, uh, yeah. I'm waiting a bit for Fable. When he gets back, we'll go forward into time with you. I don't know if I'll ever do a podcast, honestly. But time with... Well, actually, I've been on a podcast. Just starting up one is a bit different. Fable got pulled away by someone. I could hear them on the end of it. This is the uh, Fable Mech Podcast. Welcome. Our sponsor today is H2O. Delicious, delicious H2O. Make sure to stay hydrated out there, you lovely souls. I wish. And now, and now it's Mech with the weather. <laughs> That's we're not. We're not a news station. Anyway, now it's common with the weather. Oh my god. Sorry, my sister came in and, um... Annihilated the enemy. Uh, the, other Please, dot, the other dot started trying to eat my food, so I was just like, oh god. Oh, this is the end of, uh, Dawn of War screen because I've played this game before. It says, the Ma community earned for one conquest, Star Fjordpur earned. You have escaped the uncomfortable, moist realms of the warp without suffering a 100% casualty rate. Victory! So... Bothers me is the fact that the Emperor was correct at how him and um, that one dude were literally alike. That's really sad. <laughs> Apparently, f it Commons turning it into Kitty News 2.0. Yes, Common is a good friend, and they and they help me out with Kitty News. I like you, Mech. Oh my God! Yeah, poopy head. Anyway. Yeah, poopy head. Anyway, they've won the combat. Oh, they actually have the screen where it's like your Pokemon. I will eventually finish the Dawn of War games if you guys want me to keep streaming them. I'm having fun with them. I love RTSs, even though I'm not the best at them. I say not the best because I still somehow beat some of the games. So I can't say that I'm terrible. It has begun. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Your senseless babbling is making me worry for your health. Perhaps you are a bit too generous with the anesthetics, but adorable. I never mm -hmm. babble. I am never senseless, and you should do nothing but worry about my health. Then <laughs> start giving context to this cryptic rambling. You are a spoiled little shit, bro. <laughs> Calling excrement spoiled is redundant. I also do not believe I am excrement. Unless you have been keeping some truly awful secret about our inception. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you blame the Emperor for getting angry at Rogel for this? Oh, well, not really. Rogel really, uh, yeah. Listen, sun creature. Look. Do you remember when the unbound armies of the Inquisition stomped with their frilly little gumboots right into mm. my Imperial Palace? Under what I have a hard time calling the leadership of uh. one Theodore Kerr on Mazop. Hard time? Yes. Lots oh. of simple war. I Do not salivate over my son in the open, please. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Quite... <laughs> yeah. It's really just... Don't, don't do that in front of me. Nevertheless, you are correct. Magni Magic cast circa 68.8% oh. of the Inquisition into the Inquisition. <laughs> 68.8? Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's a lot. That is a lot, but there's still bits of the Inquisition obviously left. There are probably still bits of the Ordo Malleus, the Ordo Hereticus, and the Ordo Xenos that are still not there, but... Yeah. When you for the Imperium, no doubt, there was surely no particular need for a supervisory force dedicated to the safekeeping of mankind's life force. Before you go. He got, he's got a good point there, honestly, though. The Inquisition is kind of important in dealing with all matters that end up terribly. We have. There's a reason they were created, after all. You're breaking up for me, Mac. Oh, great. Ugh. But yeah, there's a. I was saying that there's a reason for the Inquisition being around. That they're kind of important. Did you hear that? Oh no. 
Yeah, Falco, how dare you have to do work things. And skewer the remainder of your basic human decency by becoming mm. unapologetic for the fucking Inquisition. Hold okay. on to your airy stained memory caskets. Okay. For the Inquisition has returned from the warp. Oh, why? That is rather shocking. And with them is also your brother, Lee Menrus. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I say. How do you know this, father? Have you had a vision? I am having one as we speak. What is happening? Mm. This is no prank, is it? I am extremely perplexed and confused <laughs> and redundant. I can't show And redundant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There he is. It's the colored boy. Oh my god. Wow. Would you look at that? It truly is him. My brother, Lehman. That stubborn wolf breed yet lives. Did you really think anything less? Of course not. But I am immensely happy to see it confirmed before my eyes. Good yeah. save. I was just about to take personal offense. Now, prepare your peepers. We shall follow the men and the Inquisition's process from this first-person perspective. Oh. Albeit muddled, we should get an idea of how they fare. Say, whose perspective are we seeing this from? Mine. Or, rather, Fyodor Karamaz Hops. Oh. Oh dear. Yes, they're... <laughs> it's basically two halves of the soul are right there. How is that possible? You will see. Have you planted yourself in his brain? Sort of. Can you really fit? Quiet. No. Damn. Oh my God. Immediate restraining order. Neither is the core man perspective. Oh my God. Yeah. Now shut your face before I send your entire upper half of the warp for someone on one with that right screaming billy goat on the screen. Oh. Oh, Scarbrand's still there. <laughs> oh, behind him is uh, Epidemius and uh, Kairos Fate Weaver. Yes, my son. As it is, as it were. Oh. I think I have proved I hate my it. abilities. <laughs> Why do you I hate, hate it? I hate everything. Though. Look at him. He doesn't even have his normal head anymore. He has like a weird emperor yes. face now. It's stupid. Apparently it's the same voice actor who does Fyodor. He's just doing this Aww. voice now. Well, he's golden. What did you expect it? I hate it, man. You hate that he has hair? I hate- I just hate Fyodor in every sense of the word. This isn't Fyodor anymore, though. I, I'm... No, it is. Gold. Is it, though? Indeed. Yes. He's is been it? overwritten, I'm pretty it's sure. Really true. Is this you liar. Oh, my liar! But, oh. we have no time to settle. It is difficult to tell just how long this barrier will remain. Yes. Good call. Mm. You there, ovular one. Oh, what do you ovular do you one? See at the end of this passage. It's hard to say, but there is an unidentified light source coming from the end of this passage. Oh. It's very bright and hot. And radiates UV waves. Um. Don't sound so nervous, Canonus. No matter what. Ah, uh, Commissar. It, it could not possibly be more treacherous than the wall. Onward, soldiers. I'm surprised how many survive. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Right. I wasn't expecting to get my rushes burnt out. Oh dear. Tonight, place yourselves. That'd be, that'd be a triprismic dimensional mirror key to the center of a sun. Oh no! Uh. Sun. Really? How did someone you know? do something. I found it on page 50 of this unpleasant record you threw at me. Oh, Dark Eldar records. 
Oh, oh, that's and not they good. Are currently being welcomed by its most hazardous defense systems. Ah, uh, there's. <laughs> Outdoor trade, bro. Yes, there he is. I feel like I know what he's gonna do. Uh... No, son. <laughs> and on oh. the eve of my forty thousand great exterminators, I am happy to announce at long last my retirement. <laughs> Oh, they broke the mirror. And me they have a ship. Where am I? Who put a great snailing song at the end of the godforsaken catacomb? Oh. 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 This is proper now. Dear God. Aim is weakness. Slaving the body. Uh. Fine. Oh. Just. <laughs> just walk us off, Sonny. Oh my god. <laughs> dad <Sonny>. joke. <laughs> dad joke. We have fun here. Oh shit, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? That is oh, a good my question. Lordy, lordy, lord! Is that the Emperor of Mankind? With a beard? <laughs> as sweet as you are, pleasantries must be set aside for now. We shall be venturing forward, but heed, my children. We do not yet know where we have ended up, and I must warn you. I can sense the quivers of dark hearts in the shadows beating with malevolence, fatalism. Deluxe. Uh, deadly fright. <laughs> if we're in Camera, that's uh, that's probably the only place worse than the warp to be. To be completely honest. Yeah. I uh, you couldn't pay me to be there. Like no amount of giant amounts of money could take me for one second in Camera. Not even anything, really. There's a theory at the moment what? that apparently believes that uh, Jagged Icon may be in camera because camera, remember how he went after the Dark Eldar for basically attacking his um, homeworld, yeah. For basically attack. So apparently, people, some people believe that the reason we haven't seen him is because he's in camera right now, possibly either fighting them or sadly got captured and is using as a gladiator. Mm, either is possible, really. I hope he's not in that place. I yeah. hope he's not a gladiator, cause Jesus. Yeah. Camaro's terrible. Uh, looks like the underhive of an underhive. An under underhive. <laughs> an under underhive. Camaro's also very weird and trippy. Oh, by the way, I said I'm gonna go uh, stream with Raikoi. After this? Or are you guys at streaming? Six. Oh, at 6. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, uh, uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Oh! Do you have to, Do you have enough players? I, I don't know. He just, he just asked me. You could ask him. Uh, uh, I kind of want to join in if that's the case, but I'll wait. No, it's at 6. Shit. I have to go on my friend's uh, son's birthday party then. Maybe if I come back in time. Maybe. Potential visitors. You can always ask him, my dude. I just know it's just me and him right now. I don't know if he has anyone else. Oh. Uh, there's Welcome to Kamara sign, apparently. Yeah, they're weird spires. My lords, I'd I rather not take right lines. Oh. On my forehead? Uh. Get ready for another fight, Captain Salt. 
Oh, great. Dark Eldar. And lots of them. We have you in our sights, Monkai. Do not make any sudden movements, or we will quite literally shoot black holes at you. That, that is a thing they can probably Dark do. Eldar. Goodness. They are surrounded. So I what learned two in Dark interesting things. Uh, one, uh, one apparently, uh, let's see. Is it supposed to... Oh, how... So, basically, there's a rejuvenation way... There's, like, a rejuvenation drug slash treatment that only Inquisitors and or Commissars can have. Yeah. But the way it's done, it's really stupid because it's, it's very grim derp. Of course it is. Basically, the way basically the way uh, the regeneration thing is works, they apparently steal the youth from unsuspecting victims. Basically, they literally steal the youth oh. from other people and then give it to you. Well then, that's uh. Yes, uh... it's incredibly stupid. Also, before there was a Xeno species, basically a very ta a very simple kind Xeno species that was mined to extinction. Because of their properties to be able to preserve youth. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, it's just really grim derp in every Looks sense like of the they word. Are packing the yeah. entirety of the Dark Elders Abhorrent Arsenal. Analyzing their weaponry to judge the bearded triumvirate's survival chances would be wise. Bearded triumvirate. Just a moment. Uh. And here, finally, we have it. Eternity Gate. Oh, Past yeah, the gate of its eternity. most reverent door frame, the corporeal vessel of the man emperor himself sits upon oh. his throne. Oh, also one last thing. Uh, talking about the emperor's throne, because you know how the emperor's throne, uh, the golden throne, wasn't created by humanity. It wasn't. Um, yeah, no, the emperor, the golden throne isn't created by humanity. It's just. It was configured to the reason um, the reason the emperor or Cyprus have to sit on it is because they are the um, they essentially have to be the focal point between the between the um, golden throne and uh, the golden throne and the technology itself. The problem is because humanity didn't build it, they have no idea how to fix it. Yeah. So it was either created by the Eldar. Or the Necrons, and either option isn't good because they're gonna want something to fix it. Yeah, especially the Eldar. Especially the Eldar. Well then. Here, read this detestable list, child. Oh, who's raiding me? Georgie, thank you for the raid, Georgie. I'll pause them together. That's also possible. Thank you for the raid. You streamed for a long time, Jorgie. How was your stream? I hope you had a wonderful stream. And did anyone give him a shout? Thank you. Yes, you streamed for quite a while, Jorgie. Because I remember waking up, seeing you stream, and by the time I had everything set up, and I've been streaming for a bit now. I mean, it's been the longest you streamed for a while. But yes, for those who don't know me, I am MechWolf, a MechPie VTuber that is also a wolf. And we're reacting to stuff, and this is Fable. And of course, we have our good friend Jorgi, who just raided us. Fable, do you want to say anything? Yeah. Uh, four hours is a long time, yes. Yes. Pathetic lies. This is the very reason for my existence! Read it okay. aloud for the people in the back. Okay. The Drukhari's arsenal consists uh. of dark lances, agonizers, electrocorrosive whips, flesh gauntlets, okay. chain flails, scissor Weird. hands, husk Weird. blades, hell glaives, okay. punishers, stingers, destructors. Okay, these names are getting silly. Crucibles of maledictions, what? combat drugs, okay, gruesome that's talismans, hell okay. glass, shadow fields. What? 
Terrifexes, horrorfexes, Where's the difference? Hells, masks of the damned, goblets of spite, okay. shot garbans, splinter rifles, nightmare dolls, arc angels of pain, torture okay. amps, xenospasms, murder uh, dick shooters. What? That can't. That what last one can't be real. I refuse it. Hello, Link Bros. The saggy marble sack. Could these weapon names be any more childishly grim? Probably. Had a boy. What? I hope Lehman can make it. What is it, Fable? Fable? Uh, uh, I don't know. Just I was talking out loud. I was thinking out loud. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sword fine. of Bale Knight and Scorn Spitter. That's a lot of different weapons. Storm's teeth. <laughs> Quiet. Something is happening. Oh, great. I don't trust them. slime. I just realized he's talking like a pirate. Whoa, whoa, hold your fire, you knuckle dragon monkai barbarians. What is it doing? It is trying to speak to them. Mistake number one. No. Yeah, you are utterly surrounded, Halhar. You and the weak. He's a rope. He's a pirate, Eldar. Dark Eldar fable. Oh dear. Get worms that constitute your ground forces. Have no hope for victory at this juncture. Should you decide to resort to violence. Oh. Wait a oh. Wait a minute. Get off! Get off! Get this oversized. Oh my oh. face! Oh my face! Warriors! Well, it looks like the Eldars, the Dark Eldar aren't having a good time. It's okay. No one yeah. cares for them. Yeah, not even their own people care for them. If you will. These Dark Eldar are acting a typical for their race, aren't they? Uh, oh, sorry. Do you prefer Drukhari? I've heard it said both ways. Uh, well, actually, I can explain to you. Actually, we didn't come to fight you. Just actually, if you just... Uh, oh. Oh, how I have missed me. <laughs> Great disorified. Do you know what? Given the soul-crushing amount of arbitrary deaths, these people die for no reason in this galaxy. It is surprisingly refreshing to see it happen firsthand to someone who absolutely deserves it. Yeah, I can't agree to that. Fable? Yee. Oh! Oh! Cutters are called, obviously. Stand on Eldar's strategy! They hold the catchers without the fight! Have I died and gone to murder heaven? I love that. Thank you, little bugger than me! Lehman? I don't want to act all pushy, but we cannot afford to act hastily and endanger our pilgrimage to Terra. Makes sense. Hold on. Lord Fyodor, what exactly are you trying to imply here? What is that design? Heed my word. I am not saying we trust these alien scum in any capacity. Uh, no offense. Ah, none taken, dope face. Dope face. For now, we should hear what they have to say. Hmm. What? You can't be serious, Lord Fyodor. So deep into enemy territory is surrounded by hideous Xenos abominations. Oh, I knew yeah. it was too good to be true! Oh, great, she's loud. I've been played by the Crimson Demon! This is the behavior of a heretic! Oh, boy. Heretic! 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't realize uh, uh, Drago's saying heretic with everyone else. Oh my god. Probably. No. Being viciously tortured in a homunculi Coven's flesh laboratories? Yeah. Yes. Put me down for 20 throws. I do not understand anything that is happening, and my body is convulsing irregularly. Well then. Oh. Oh, well, would you look at that? Ex-Inquisitor Cryptman! Oh, boy. Well, the 
on the subject of heresy. Do you know that name? It sounds familiar somehow. He was actually the Inquisitor that engaged the Tyranids when they first arrived in the galaxy. Um... My opinion is straightway self-strangulating, sheepling, slapping heresy on anything even halfway logical is what brought us into this mess in the first place. Yeah. Maybe taking two seconds to consider options that are purge these, cleanse that, and burn, burn, burn might prove yeah. beneficial, even True. if you don't wind up doing it. Ah, greetings, Kripman. Hello, Fielder. Nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you. I grew it myself somehow. <laughs> I like this script man, man. Oh no. You should not. He committed the largest genocide since the Horus Heresy in his efforts to repeal the Tyranids. Ooh. He was exiled from the Inquisition for being too cruel. <laughs> Think about that, Fable. <laughs> Now I remember, Cryptman basically exterminated some uh, planets, but not because of stupid reasons. Was to slow down the Tyranids' advance, pretty much. Which was actually, which was actually kind of a smart play because it actually stopped them from getting too powerful too quickly. Yes, it was messed up for the loss of life, but it had to happen. Unlike certain Inquisitors, who literally just do it because the sound, because the name of one demon is released. Or because the the Celestial Lions launched a complaint. Yes. It's still kind of funny. Was it messed I up? Yes. Sure Did it have to happen? Sadly, and yes. Totally necessary in the end. Yes. No. My lord, you can just retract the statement about lacking him. I never err. In my judgments, you oh. flabby cock carpet. I am oh. sure he is a very rational and sympathetic individual. Oh. oh. Look at Start saying your policy led to an inexcusable loss of human life. <laughs> oh. oh, not the other one. Inquisitor <laughs> Topper on the ground is wrong. If oh anything, I feel the judgment of the Inquisition has been a bit of an underachiever in the areas of planetary devastation and other forms of oh. healthy, constructive mass murdering. I agree with Inquisitor Sunglasses. <laughs> oh, and what have we been? Another of your irrational carnage cronies, are you know? While I have the utmost respect for you, Lord Ross, I resent two-thirds of the things that just came out of your mouth. Well? I am very irrational and independent with my mass murder. It's why when I heard of all the radical reformist hogwash coming out of Terra, I immediately oh. <laughs> There's Drago just slowly moving. And decided to sneak along despite my Mac, have you ever eaten a tangerine? Dear god, you're gonna go with those for a while, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> so funny. But you have not noticed me until now only highlights oh. your incompetence. I noticed. You do not count. Alright. <laughs> No, I feel like that's something Zeus, you would tell to me and I would cry. No, just say that you don't count. Yes. Oh my god. For one of you spiky reprobates to deliver us your commands. Oh, since you asked so nicely. Well, it's surprisingly straightforward. I don't know. Law Vect was elected the moment you triggered our defense systems. Okay. To be honest, we were sort of expecting an unsolvable horde of demons when the gate broke. We we're pretty stoked about murder boning a bunch of temporal thought forms in the eyeballs. Oh, I'm stoked by this. Uh, well, I mean, I can't speak for everyone. Uh, Javari? Were you stoked? Hell yeah, my main oh. mouth. I was pretty stoked. Uh, uh. Silly, how about you? Yeah, Ernie. I get, I get demons, I get them, but really, I only can't walk right today, you know? I, I, I get bleeding types, you feel me? Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that. So yeah, okay, I'd say most of us were reasonably stoked about it. 75, 75% of us seems fair. I'm not gonna get them to raise their hands or anything. Ugh. And you wanted to talk with these quote-unquote people? 
Oh, uh, everyone's just shooting that one. Supreme Overlord Vec has given us strict orders not to kill you and bring you to him for an audience. Huh. So, you take us back to your presumably quite slippery master, and then what? Yeah. We're all re and de castrated for the rest of eternity? Pardon my centillion. I am really sorry, but I am not seeing much reason to take you at your word. Well, yeah. not all of you. Just you, Chair Von Kai. The okay. rest of your forces will have to wait, my lord. Okay, so I know you said Mon Kai, Mon but I heard Bon Kai. You heard Bon Kai? <laughs> yes, I heard you and your chair, Bon Kai, and I'm just like, that. that is a weird image in my head now. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, it kind of sounds like it. And where would they be waiting exactly? The arena, of course! You'll oh, be boy. fighting to the death! It will be quite the spectacle! Go oh, the no. fuck on! Beck wants a word with you and you expect us to immediately slaughter you wholesale? Yes! 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 Oh. Yes! Yes! You must think we've all contracted nerd like hypersephalus to be mounted into uh. the ill-begotten ilk! Elder would never miss an opportunity that calls pain, mayhem, and suffering. It's true. Got to be 13 wolves are gullible to this. 13 wolves. From even a single one of their honey words. Please like to be every, an audience, for always euphemisms were tortured horribly for eons and eons. Good it tickles me well, eh? Pretty much. That. If this isn't a trap, I'm gonna buy an entire living cat and not eat it. What? I would be tempted to agree. Dealing with the Eldar is a very know. fickle prospect. Uh. They are prone to acting in ways that are countercurrent to their own self-interest, making you think that they think that they're deceiving you, when in reality, they're being completely honest and counting on the fact that you think that they're lying to you, so that you'll completely discount the truth as the truth. What was even the same <laughs> he just said? Exactly! Oh. They engage in exasperating mental gymnastics like this all the time. Oh, that sounds horrible. They don't waste my time with all these thinking nonsense. I mean, yeah, the turn of hive mind isn't the most complex thing to really fight. So, what say you, Crippman? Should we stay or should we go? If I am being completely and thoroughly honest, I just wanted to stop the trigger happy amateur hour from discounting our leadership for considering a slightly unorthodox position. Ultimately, the decision rests with you, Fyodor. Mm. Either way, we're probably all, in Eldar terms, bold. I respect your candor, Crippen. I think, with all things considered at the moment, our best course of action is... Hmm. Drink very carefully, Fyodor. The consequences oh. of your decision could see everything we fought for go up in smoke. I do not see much of a choice in this. What do you reckon, Normal? If I know my brother, they will fight to the death. None but the likes of father could persuade him to do anything else. They would not survive that. That's As true. As these filthy magazines you called Ark Eldar Codexes, Kimura is not your run of the mills in those home world. Is an impossible dimension in the depths of the webway, able to house an entire star system's worth of these walking, talking spike maps. No, dear Lord, I didn't need to see that. Man. Avenues name monolithic super oh, vast collections of morbid satellite drones that are, in reality, thousands of light years apart, are permanently shackled with through shimmering dimensional shortcuts. The huh. streets are an ever change in clusterfuck of flesh holes, venom canals, yeah. and gravity defying spires, all cobbled together on a scale incomprehensible to human minds. Yeah. Not wrong. The sweat goblins of Kimura can navigate this bristling tomb around the wet way themselves. Our bearded triumvirate and their inquisitorial compatriots cannot hope to survive by simply fighting through it. Yeah, that makes sense. They all make they need a way out. Necessary to survive the warp. But surviving the physical horrors of Kimura is another pain regimen entirely. But, but, did I come over and go to the to detonate his son? Oh, he detonated it? Magnus the Red effortlessly in a single bar motion. 
How could these deviant tasks possibly cause a challenge to not only him, but him and Russ as well? In addition to the Dark Eldar being marginally more intelligent than a celestial entity, and True. certainly more cunning than my baby Magnus. In Everyone's more cunning than Magnus, to be completely that honest. True. He's so easy to trick because he has such a large in ego. Of a temper tantrum, you are not only forgetting that Calder Drago decidedly brandishes the brain power of a rock, but oh. also the population dynamics required for such a thought mark quasi realm to exist in the first place. Could you clarify, my lord? My bite is a glass pane slowly cracking. You see, oh. an uninformed companion. The Dark City is not simply the capital world of the Dark Eldar. Rather, okay. it is a location where in almost every single Dark Eldar bar and comparative small exile populations live and operate. Okay. As such, even though the Dark Eldar are likely one of the most numerically inferior races in the galaxy, Banding together in such a manner makes oh. more, and more or less an unbreakable There's too many to deal with, with no one, one fighting force. Really deal with. In fact, the only successful invasions of Kimura have either been one, extremely short with a single limited golden mine, two, okay. hilariously karma demon intrusions that generally exist to ruin one guy in particular's day. Sounds about right. Assaults that are unknown to the invaders themselves, pre planned and invisibly coordinated by the Dark Eldar in order to murder potential political and military opponents without hacking yeah, the that sounds about of right. Or the Dark Eldar have seen to it that even if our primary goal was to eliminate their race, mustering the resources necessary to level Kamora would leave the Empyrean critically open to its numerous other aggressors. Even in the best case scenario, mm. it would certainly be more trouble than this bad. world. Then, their escape of the material was for naught. The Wolfie's return is not a return at all. I do not like this situation. No one does. Do not worry your tiny little skulls. Komora may be unbreakable playing by our rules. But fortunately for us, are we not playing things by are our going rules? just as planned. Oh. I have come. He reached over to his other self. Weird. Yeah, it is weird. I guess they're speaking as one. And it will be painful. It's like commun tel com remain. telepathically communicating with each other. Painful. Follow them. Oh. That's not good. I mean, both of their ideas are not good, really. Oh, <laughs> what? Good for nothing, Dungus. Listen up! You heard that, man. Not so sure I am unconditionally agreeing to this. <laughs> temporarily not murdering the Eldar. We will protect them there later for safe passage. And if he refuses, throw the right screws over. We will summarily show them the might of Imperial Steel. Well, that's one way to deal with this. So, like, am I actually going to have to be the straight man here and pointing out he how the exterminal ass button? Is? It feels no, that's you. No, that's not. Oh, it's I mean, I wish I had. I mean, I wish I had died and gone to murder heaven. But yeah. Oh, <laughs> You're not allowed to die, you piece of crap. Too bad, I'm dying. You can't stop me. Oh my god. We're grounded, Nick. Listen, I'm already dying. I'm dying from a broken heart or something that happened a few months ago. I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go draw a dragon, baby. Oh my god. You'll never see me again. I won't because I'm dying. Rumor has it that the cult mechanicus sometimes hires Dark Eldar to help him kill. That sounds like a terrible idea! Ah, that should be good. I am rather confused. I would be too. Lehman Russ and oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, God damn it, what's his name? The one tech priest everyone knows at this point. Call. He sometimes has chess matches with uh, Necrons. Like with a that Necron, he keeps ties up. But he used he did it a weird way once where he was able to control their little like robots. To move the pieces, and the Necron was horrified by this. Inquisition, agree to this without violent interjections. Hmm. I, I hope I said, not. Things are going exactly as planned. 
plan. Care to tell us what this plan is? You are watching the plan unfold. You I know he's not gonna tell you. I only see terrible decisions being made. This plan is entirely based on terrible decisions being made. I am oh confused. As Welcome I'm, uh, to the club. I am the head. You see, my boy, a certain group of Eldar are having a bit of a birthday party plan. A divine birth ousted from copious amounts of dead souls. Ironically. Oh. Seeing as I am a connoisseur of all things soul slattered and skull covered. I figured mm. I would have someone representing yours truly go snatch up the title of emissary for this up and coming birthday god. Oh, I it. think I know what he's talking about, Fable. Yeah? He's, he's talking about the rise of Iniad. Iniad? You know the Eldar god of death? Oh, the one that supposedly was going to be summoned to beat up Slanesh? Yeah. Huh. Who is hanging from a cliff? Oh, he doesn't get the wordplay. You know, terrifying Wolfman. I'm surprised you took us up on that offer. I assure you, trusting us, the Dark Eldar, is a decision that will not bite you in the ass immediately. I'm actually pretty sure it will in some capacity. Mm -hmm. But luckily for me, if you try any of your hallmarked and carly cock dribble, our close personal friend, Calder Drago, just ate a son. If we ask him nicely, he can spit it right back out. First. That would be horrifying. I think we should help the poor boy. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, he's very right. Oh, he has the lower half of that dark Eldar that they killed. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think we should help the poor boy, Fable. But it's too bad that I'm dying, so I can't help anyone. You would. Then. Why do you say I'm not allowed to die? You would. What do you mean I would? Why is French going off? Clown speak? Why is clown speak French? That's an insult to all the clown peoples out there. Oh my god. Yes, bro. What the hell? There's a clown looking there, there's a normal one. <laughs> Dealing with a dark Eldar. I trust there is a very good reason for you interrupting me during my own private hour. I don't know who this is. I'll be completely honest. I actually don't know much about Dark El in general. Dark Eldar. I refuse to learn anything about the Dark Eldar, so don't look at me. Okay. Was my lady. I would never seek to interrupt your you time unless it was most urgent. No, you would not, sir. Otherwise, you would wind up back at that shopping block faster than you can name off our super and ridiculous support options. Uh, um, the Tangulus? No, no, what else, sir? The days of destruction doesn't really count. Uh, my news. Yes, of course. Though I warn you, it is dire, my lady. According to our spies, your god, your helmet. Kane's gate has at last been breached. I do like your gauntlet, though. What? That bloodshed vet actually did it? What? I mean, he did what? I kind of thought you would, but small part of me expected him to know better, you know? During this competition in the Mumbai Letting Arts, upon arts of them into our city is kind of a bad plan. Uh. Oh. I think I'm in physical I pain am... right now. Well, we're looking at Kamarov, Abel, so that's completely normal. Um, what is the damage thus far? Our spies report that your ex's forces are coming. Prefer to fact as my ex. Oh! I will send you to the flesh laboratoire. <laughs> Excuse me, my lady. Oh, she's just way, Vex okay. forces are wholly absent from the gate, and the gate is closed off by some no doubt temporary means. But what's most surprising is there is no demonic activity to speak of. What came out, uh, Monkai? Oh, that's what we're talking <laughs> Monkai, my lady. Monkai serving cows, I assume. No, just Monkai, my lady. It is true that the Dark Elder don't serve chaos. Man, one with a big dumb chair, 
Oh, uh, Kaldor. Just what the hell they are. They probably should. Kaldor Drago? Point. They know who Kaldor Drago is for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows who Kaldor Drago is. Drago, my lady. <laughs> but, uh, but that does not make any sense. It is positively ludicrous, my lady. My reports tell me Vector's already apprehended these Monkai. One amongst their number is being brought to the stupid floating pyramid that is his headquarters. Okay. The rest are being sent to the Crucibale Arena. I am admittedly excited about them being set to fight in a match against the coming emissary. The what? Now, as for our solution, uh, if I someone would... down below explain what the heck the coming emissary is. So bold. I suggest you that please, and you just know I will it? not read it, but Mech will. Oh so my god. Someone's gonna suffer. Why do I always have to suffer in your stead? Because I, I refuse to learn about the Dark Eldar. Why do I have to suffer though? Once the one who and the I need At once, my most frightening and highly replaceable lady. <laughs> he really doesn't like her. <laughs> what? Oh, I think she's speaking to the old art or er, Kegarak. I mean, uh, that's arguably more manageable so long as King's Gate doesn't lead to their homeworld, but. but... Uh... Oh. oh. The ominous horns are not helping. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think the Eldar God of Laughter is laughing at her because he knows what's going on. I think he knows the plan. Stop, please. I am trying to think, and this is really impending the whole process. <laughs> I don't know who else would be wearing the clown pickup. Stop throwing things at me. Ew. And then, and then, I shall become the true supreme lady of Komarag. <laughs> uh, that's horrifying. Joker makeup. Why are you throwing things at me, Fable? You're making me watch this. Well, I didn't do anything! What the hell? It is done. I'm still throwing things at you. Ow! Stop that! Oh. Ow. Abel? Who is, no. uh, uh. Oh. That's the deceiver. <laughs> Alright. Seems like you spun her plates real nicely, Tariel. Why did he? Why did he just speak like a Banjo Kazooie character for a few seconds? I don't know. He has a shard of the Seaver, so I don't know. <sighs> He's a star god. Me, Jackal god. Oh, come on, Tariel. Chad, can don't I just say so I actively hate you? this because the, El the Dark Eldar are the faction I despise with a passion for all the right reasons, and this I mean, physically hurts. I don't think anyone likes the Dark Eldar. Honestly. Oh well, wait, some people can... that do, and I, and I question it. Oh wait, you guys are going at seven, not six. I might be able to join. Give me one second. I thought it was six, to be honest. I was wrong. Eh, it's fine. Let me go. Give me one second. Anyway. You can call me the deceiver. Everyone knows the deceiver. Right. Why do you need her aid? 
That is a good question. What do you want with also, these... I know you don't like the Deceiver either, but yeah, we're dealing with Dark Eldar. No one likes the Dark sure, Eldar. Even the people who play the Dark Eldar don't like the Dark Eldar. I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me up it's over. Oh my god. <laughs> No, oh. Nah, 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 I'm just pulling your pantyhose, babe. State of affairs is actually what amounts to a collection no. of rocks desperately clawing no. inanimate ears out as the no. organic shriek machines are pulling them all straight down the end times pit. Okay. What? Shit is flying left, right, up, down. No one knows what the fuck is happening. But what on are you and doing? On and on they keep wailing their song of no. mutual destruction. No. Heretic. Savage, upstart, lapdog, let me eat your spine! Yeah! Uh, what? Shut the fuck up, Tyrell. You're part of the problem. Okay. So, wow, well, I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I was expecting something more comprehensible. Ugh. What are you saying? I am not saying anything. I am screaming! Holy shit, volume, please. Volume, In the midst of this galactical shit cacophony huh? that these oh. spoiled, entitled planet spawns have wrung out. I am the only no. one screaming out against the fate this galaxy is encroaching upon. Okay. Listen, Mime Lady over there, ah, yeah. she's a treasure. And by treasure, I mean a giant resource uh, of guns. A oh. giant fountain of guns. Guns with the kind of firepower she could take out a Supreme Grand Master of the Grey Knights in 20 seconds. Oh, flat. it wants to kill Kaldor Drago, oh, Fable. I'm not entirely well versed. Dark matter weaponry so yeah, that's impossible. He's that never eaten the tangerine. Oh my god. Specific example. <laughs> yes, spot on, Tariel. Attentive and to the point as always. See, this is why I brought you and your little campaign into reality. You know, other than to attain a way to this edge fest of a harbor town. Edge fest. <laughs> you know, you're saying a lot without saying much. He's not wrong. Uh, so you're planning on killing Cal? He cannot be allowed entrance to the Materium again! No way! It what? It cannot happen! It would spell disaster for my galaxy, Tariel! His screams will overpower all! Do huh? you hear me, Tariel? Listen here, you night-eared little shit! Your <laughs> Draco must be stopped! Well, alright then, Fable. Yeah. No, you can't nap. Now then, what is... Uh... After six years of anticipation, the fate of the Alpha Legion Part Three. What? Part Three? What happened to Part One and Two? I don't know. I don't think that's an actual Legion. What the hell am I looking at? I don't, I literally don't know, bud. I mean, the color scheme is okay. That's a scene from Dawn of War! Oh my god. What's going on? I don't know. No one will play Warhammer like a dumb guy ever again! What? Message over here. God damn it, Nexus. Here we go! Emperor, what is that? Okay, I was very confused by that. Someone in the comics explain what just happened there. <laughs> what? Magnus? I stole your leader's very soul! I don't know, Tom, and I'm taking a nap. Uh, you can't take a nap yet. If anyone else wants to die by my hand, just say the word. <laughs> yeah, alright, sure. <laughs> well, count me in, go. Jeez, it took you this long to do this? Eh, sure. Kill me, daddy! What? <laughs> Uh, are we done yet? <sighs> this armor is really tight. Yes, companion, we are Oh done. wait, he's dressed Let up as as a that's that's Thunder Psyker, the kitten. 
Why is he dressed as up? Oh. So that was the thing that happened. What the hell just happened? These souls shall spend their time working for us now. Using them, we shall improve I the state of the know. galaxy at large. That doesn't really explain anything. Yeah, no, it oh, doesn't. Going back to Terra. Yes, we're going back to Terra now, you dreary little neonate. Very good, then. But How are you able to fit into that armor? Space Galaxy! Oh. No, they're your jurisdiction now. I'm oh my god. The well then, who the hell are they? I think so, that's a blood raven. Two blood ravens. You don't want to play Call of Duty? Yes. I will do it! Well then. <laughs> no, no nap. Or in the pair. Whoever plays Kaldor Drago is really good. I don't. I can't really stretch my voice. I only have like two settings on my voice, Fable, so I can't really stretch them. Oh, Fresh was Scarbrand, apparently. Nah. Anything else? That's a lot of people. Okay. Fucking alpha, your goddamn fucking shit. What the hell? <laughs> Shut the. F well, that happened. So once again, thank you all so much for coming by. If you uh, like what we're doing here, <gasps> Fable, say any last words as you have for these people. Pick all the alls on dying. Like. Done. Share and subscribe, and we'll see you later.